What is going on everybody? It's Bucky and welcome back to your sixth XHTML tutorial. Now in this tutorial, as promised, we're going to be starting to cover links. Now if you never heard of a link before, then first of all, you're an idiot. Because a link is the main concept behind the internet basically. It's the idea that you could link one page and connect it to another page. So it's basically a section of text or a picture or anything that you click and it takes you to another web page. So you guys know what a link is so why am I even explaining it? So let's go ahead and learn how to make a basic link. The first thing you need to make a link is something that you're going to create a link and this can either be text or a picture. In this case I'm just going to use plain old text. So let's go ahead and type this will be a link. Now if we saved it and looked at it right now then it would just be text on the screen and when you click it it does nothing but highlight it pretty dumb so in order to make this a link what we need to do is we need to surround it with tags in the element name or the tag name for a link is a and this stands for anchor why they named it a for anchor and not l for link or h for hyperlink i don't know but uh... it's pretty much the dumbest naming convention ever but a means link or anchor whatever you prefer so anyways that is going to make your text a link but you're saying alright Bucky something's wrong with this right here that text is a link but what's it a link to is it a link to another web page on our site is it a link to google is it a link to ebay amazon.com well let me introduce another topic and that is attributes in some tags in this one especially you need to have something called an attribute an attribute is basically more information that that tag needs in order to work so not only are we telling this text that it needs to be a link but we also need to tell it where to link so the attribute that goes in here and here's how you create attributes in your opening tag the one without the uh, forward slash go ahead and press space now go ahead and write the name of the attribute the location is href so this is hyperlink reference I think that means it's pretty much means what's the location of the website that you want to link it to so instead of a and href it would be a lot easier if it was link and website but you know they had to be dumb and name it all sorts of weird stuff so it's a and href so we got href all we need to do now is set it equal to and put quotation marks so anytime you have attribute write the attributes name set it equal to something and in between the quotation marks write what you're gonna make it equal so in this case the information that we need to give href is a website what website do we want to link this text to so let's just go ahead and put HTTP Google google.com so let's go ahead and save this and uh, see our baby in action refresh this and check it out our text is now a link and when I click it it takes me right to Google how awesome is that so anyways to recap one last time whenever we want to link something we first need to surround it with these a tags a stands for link pretty confusing huh and in order to tell it what website we want to link it to we need to write href which is the attribute stands for hyperlink reference equals the website name and make sure you write the full name just don't write google.com or else it's probably gonna mess up so with that being said let's go ahead and we know how to link to sites like Google eBay um, Amazon YouTube but what if we want to link to another file or another page in our website well let's go ahead and create another page first of all and in order to do that just go ahead and copy this and go ahead and hit this new button or actually easier just go to file file new and we get this new file now let's just go ahead and paste this in and in our body just right this is the second page and for the title just write second page and now let's go ahead and save this file save as not index um, just go ahead and save it as second and my computer's freezing that's just great second uh, HTML just like that so save this page is second so now in our directory or in our folder we got two pages 
let me tighten this up just a tid little bit and this is the index page this is our main page and this is our secondary page so now our website has two pages pretty cool huh so let's go ahead and in our main page we're gonna want to go ahead and make this a link to our second page so let's change the text first of all this will link to the second page so now as a href all we need to do is since these two files are in the same directory and let me show you what I'm talking about here's my folder I'm working on and here is where the websites are here's where I'm you know saving them on my computer the index is right here and the second is right here so they're in the same folder as long as as all your web pages are in the same folder you can easily link them by just writing the name of the website so if we want to link this to our second.html file let's just go ahead and href instead of google just put second.html so anyways the basics is this <clears throat> oh I got whooping kennel cough or something so in order to link to a website that's not yours just go ahead and write the full name like http google.com if you want to link to a web page that is yours you just need to go ahead and write the name of the web page dot html so let's go ahead and we already saved it let's see what we got this will link to the second page go ahead and click it this is the second page so that's how you make a link between pages again what you could do maybe if you wanted to uh, start off with some navigation is you could make a link on this back to the first page so maybe we'll do that in the next tutorial give you some nice uh, connectivity is that even word connectivity I don't know but uh, I'm gonna say it, so oh well so now you know how to create a basic link and if you guys are still a little bit confused then uh either watch this tutorial again or just keep watching the rest of my tutorials and I promise It'll clear up for you guys. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.